Rawr! Hello, little Benz Van Anielen. I'm a lion, and I haven't made a video in a very long time. I'm kind of sad about it. If you didn't notice, I recently acquired a haircut, and oh my god, look at these shoes that somebody sent me. They're so cool. If you haven't been to my channel page in the last like year and a half, then you probably don't know what I'm talking about. You should probably get on that. Rawr. I'm a lion. Now, sometimes on the interwebs I read other people's confessions, which is what I'm going to do right now. I was seeing another girl just to get over you. I don't take compliments very well, mostly because I don't feel like I deserve them. I don't think I could ever love anybody as much as I love Draco Malfoy, which is unfortunate because he's not actually real. If it wasn't for Neil, I would never tell anybody my confessions. It sort of disgusts me that you don't use a napkin when you eat. I fooled around at school once. The only thing that was separating us and the rest of the class was a four foot tall piece of plywood. I go to an extremely well-known university, and I think a big part of the reason why I got in there is because one of my relatives is on the faculty. I told a girl once that I don't like her the way she likes me, and the next day she killed herself. I often blame myself. My only sexual experiences are from guys that I've met on Craigslist. Whenever I watch one of Neil's videos, I get distracted by his lips moving. I don't think anyone will ever love me. I love smoking pot. Even though I love my old verbal and physical abuse of life, I still miss being with my parents. My mom recently threatened me by saying that she'd tell everyone I knew that I'm gay. I've had a lot of sex, but I've never been kissed. You're the reason I stopped cutting, but you're also the reason I started again. Sometimes I catch myself thinking about different ways to kill myself. I told you I loved you, but I was lying. If I know that someone can hear me, I can't physically pee. I'm totally and utterly in love with a fictional character. I'm 15 and my best friend recently found out I was gay by walking in on me and his 21 year old brother having sex. I sort of want to drop out of school and become an underwear model. The only reason I had sex with those guys is because I knew it would hurt you. When I was a small child, I used to shoplift from every single store I went to. In fifth and sixth grade, I used to cheat on tests. I have a girlfriend, but I'm sort of dating her out of pity. I'm also a lion. Squishy nose. I'm also a lion. Rawr. My boyfriend's five years older than me, and I'm very afraid that he's going to go to jail because of us. I cry myself to sleep almost every night. I'm lonely all the time. Honestly, I just want to truly connect with someone. I turned you down by telling you I don't want to harm our friendship, but really I'm just gay. I was raped by my brother for five years, starting at the age five. I've cried during every single one of Neil's confession videos. The only reason I let you bring guys over when my parents are away is to help remind myself that we'll only ever be friends. I love having a boyfriend way more than I love my boyfriend. My parents are splitting up, and I'm okay with it. Largely because one of them's moving closer to a boy I like. I'm terrified of asking for help, even when it's obvious that I need it. I wish Pokemon were real. I was raped by my ex-boyfriend every weekend for two months. I sort of want to live in a psychiatric ward. I was mentally and physically abused for two and a half years, and I never told anyone. I'm really good at flirting through text, but I can't seem to hold a conversation in person. When I get nervous, I tend to spout out random bits of trivia. I'm an atheist, and I recently started going to church with someone I met online because I liked the idea of someone trying to save me. You hated me for what I did to you, and that's the only reason I'm moving to another country. I like to watch Glenn Beck and Fox News. I stuck a picture of Asia to the back of my wardrobe to help me convince myself that Narnia is real. I've written 28 suicide letters. 26 of them I burned. The other two were when I tried to kill myself. I never actually liked cranberries. I'm afraid to come out because I don't want my friends to know that they've been right all these years. I'm a boy. My best friend's a girl, and I've always loved her. I'm madly in love with a guy who won't date me because I'm flat-chested. No one really knows how sad I actually am. I'm really afraid that one of my friends is gonna kill himself. I cried for three days straight when you left for college. I know you never answer, and I know you don't like to talk on the phone, but... I really love hearing your voice. My gymnastics coach once had me do a conditioning exercise that made me orgasm. My boyfriend and I gave us free passes for banana meal. I'm not sure he was serious, but I totally was. I ate the entire Oreo box by myself. I asked for advice from my best friend on how to break up with a friend. She didn't get the hint that I was talking about her. Every guy I've ever been with has really wanted me to be on bottom but I'd really like to be in control for once. I chose my job over my education, and I feel like that might be a poor decision. Sometimes I wish you would just hit me so that I could prove the abuse and get out. It takes me hours to fall asleep at night, mostly because it's hard to make a pillow feel like a real person laying next to me. I shared a bed with a friend who's straight. I pretended to be asleep when he started filling me up because I kind of liked it. I watch weeds just so I can see Hunter perish. That one day after lunch when we were sitting on a couch next to each other, I really wanted to hold your hand. No matter how hard I try, I'm unable to make friends. I feel like there's something wrong with me. I accidentally broke a really expensive TV, and I blamed it on my five-year-old nephew. I often wish that I could just wake up my first day of kindergarten and realize that the last 10 years have just been an awful dream. I lied when I said I was happy. I cheated on my boyfriend with his best friend. I'm totally comfortable with my writing skill, but I pretend like everything I do is crap so that I get compliments. I still don't know what I did wrong, 
but I stopped caring a while ago. My friends think I have some extraordinary resistance to alcohol. Really, I'm just really good at pretending that I'm not drunk. And I like to seem different. As you might be able to tell, I'm in a new place. The whole white backgrounds and everything. I somehow managed to acquire an apartment with Morgan Page Loves and Mad Zack, who are both really utterly fantastic. Why is utterly a word? And I am also a lion. Rawr. School just started for me and I'm no longer homeless, which means that I should be able to make more videos more frequently because I'll have a schedule and I'll be able to do stuff and things and stuff and this is probably the longest take of this entire video. Rawr. I should probably just make it the ending, you know, because I always do that where I just kind of let the ending go out. Seems like a good idea. Anyway, I will see you guys soon, I hope. Oh dear God, I hope. I'm a lion and stuff.